All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing again, pushing his work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. I want to go on on this video, okay, that the Lord is going to sift the house of Israel. Okay. Um, and that comes from the book of, uh, Amos nine and nine. Okay. Uh, it says for lo, uh, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is sifted in a seed. It says yet. So not the least grain fall upon the earth. Okay. And then the next verse, it says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. OK. And um, you got a lot of people, you know, who um, don't understand the prophecies. OK. They may know that they are Israelites. OK. Um, and for whatever reason. You know, they, they may just think, uh, you know, we just out here uh, plowing, okay? Which I'm going to get that word plow, okay? I'm going to get the word plow, okay? Um, <clears throat> uh, a large farming uh, implement to, I mean, it says, with one or more blades fixed in a frame draw by, drawn by a tractor, or by animals and used for cutting furrows in the soil and turning it over, especially to prepare for the planting of seeds. Okay. And, um, you know, we, we are doing the work, you know, um, of the Lord, which is really, you know, the Lord that's doing all these things. You know, we, we are out here teaching the word and the word is out there. Okay, the seeds have been planted. Okay, <laughs> you got, you know, many, many people that are waking up to the, you know, fact that we are the Israelites. Okay, <clears throat> and it's going to be a certain number that gets reached. Okay, which is the one third of Israel. Okay, in particular, the 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe. Okay, that is going to get reached. So we're not going to be, you know, plowing, you know, forever. OK. Uh, and, and, and the Lord not reaping no benefits. OK. The, the end goal of what we're doing is to it w w for the Lord is, is to harvest. OK. To reap what, what, what has been sold. OK. The end goal is to, to, to harvest. OK. Let me get that word harvest, okay? Uh, the process or period of gathering and crops, okay? Uh, uh, the picking, the collecting, the, the 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 gathering, you know, and that's what we're we're you know, the what the Lord is doing. He's gathering the elect, okay? Now, when we go into the book of uh, Isaiah 28, and uh, I start at uh, uh, 12, it says, To whom he said, uh, This is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they were not here. Now, when we go into the book of uh, Acts, Okay, three. Okay, and uh, uh, 19, it says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Okay? When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Okay? And <clears throat> this earth has to be refreshed. Okay, it has to be started over. Okay? <clears throat> and, uh, you know, during that time, that's that's you know the, the the time of the harvest. 
okay, where the elect is going to be gathered, okay, together, okay, to be with Yahweh Shah, okay. Now, in the scriptures, okay, uh, Matthew 13 and 39, uh, you know, you know, I, I get Luke uh, 10 and 2. Uh, Therefore, he said unto them, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few, the true laborers. Okay? <clears throat> There's not many people out here who actually care about, you know, uh, the, the end game. Okay? Uh, what What is, you know, the process of what, when it's all said and done? Okay? So we out here putting out our hand to the plow, right? Uh, it says, pray ye therefore the Lord of, of the harvest that he, he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Okay? And you got uh, you know, uh, people who claim to be Israelites that, you know, they're just in this thing and, you know, don't realize that the Lord is, is, is going to sift the house of Israel. He, and, and as the scripture said, not, you know, the least grain, so not fall upon the earth. Okay. Uh, revelation 14 and 15 and another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth <clears throat> is, is ripe. Okay? Um, and, um, yeah, the book of Matthew 13 to 39, it says that the, the harvest is the end of the world. Okay? And the reapers are the angels. Okay? So, uh, back in Isaiah 28 and 13, it says, but the word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept. And, you know, this, these scriptures get deep, man. And a lot, you know, it's simple. A lot of people might like to make it, you know, complicated, you know, but you'll get lost in the sauce, you know, if you don't, you know, if you're not sincere about this thing, if you're not of the elect, you're going to get lost. OK, you may find out certain things about, you know, read a precept. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, this is the Israelites. But then another precept says, you know, the priest, the, the, how the Israelites are going to act. OK. And then another precept goes more in depth. But some people will just stop at that one precept, two precept, you know, and um it says, uh, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, and there a little. So you just confused, right? That they may go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Okay? <laughs> so <laughs> the Lord is going to sift the house of Israel. Okay? When this word, you know, starts coming to pass more, a lot of people are going to be offended by, uh, you know, by these prophecies coming to pass because they they didn't take heed onto the warning okay about the lord coming back okay they don't understand his purpose it says wherefore hear the word of the lord you scornful men that rule this people which is in jerusalem so you got leaders even today okay uh camp leaders okay it says, because you have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement. So a lot of people, they got the mindset that uh, we don't know when the Lord going to come back. You know, we just going to die, you know, and, and while we here, we just got to get it. You know, we got to do what we got to do. We Israelites, you know, and, and, and we got to have fun. We in the house of mirth. OK, it says <clears throat> when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come upon us. And that, that's where that uh, uh, scripture in uh, the book of uh, Amos 9 and uh, 10 says, all the sinners of my people. So die by the sword, which would say 
the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Okay. Uh, it says in, in the uh, NLT, the coming destruction can never touch us. Right. It says, for we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Right. In the NLT, it says, for we have built a strong refuge made of lies and deception. OK. And not a lot of people not calling on the name of the Lord. <clears throat> OK. Uh, the true name of the Lord, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. OK. It says, therefore. Thus saith the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion a found foundation, a stone, a, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believes shall not make haste. OK, so. It's uh, it says uh, whoever believes need never be shaken. OK, so the true believers are not going to be shaken. OK. And, you know, as the Lord continues to house, I mean, shift the house of Israel. Right. A lot of people are going to be shaken by what's going on. But the elect ain't going to be shaken. OK, because they know what's going on. It says judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet. It says. And the hell so sweep away the refuge of lies and the water so overflow the the hiding place. OK, so the truth is going to overflow. OK, and it ain't going to be denied anymore. OK. Uh, you know what we're speaking here at Great Millstone is the 100 percent truth. OK. And, you know, ain't no lie about it. OK, the Lord is going to destroy Babylon the Great. OK, and we are and he only coming back for the elect of the nation of Israel. OK, no matter what they may look like, it could look like different nations. OK, it says in your covenant with death, so be disannulled and your agreement with hell, so not stand. So, you know, yeah, you may think that, you know, you're going to, uh, you know, just live and die. Right. But when this destruction come, you got people that are going to be taking part of that destruction. OK. You're going to know that it came from the Lord. OK. So you ain't going to be able to, to, to escape because you're going to know. OK. And it says when the overflowing skirts or this goes for those people, uh, the Lord ain't going ain't going it ain't going to hurt me. <laughs> OK. When the overflowing skirts. So pass through, then so you then you shall be trodden down by it. From the time that goes forth, it shall take you. Okay? For morning by morning it shall shall it pass over by night and by night, and it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. Okay? This message will bring terror to your people. Okay? And you know, is it, it, it's talking about you know the, the the leaders, the heads, okay, and um, you know, they wasn't prepared, okay, they wasn't prepared, for the bed is shorter than a man can stretch himself upon on it, and the covering narrow narrower than that he can wrap himself in it, okay. It says the bed you have made is too short to lie on. The blankets are too narrow to cover you. OK. The only thing that can cover you is how about you know, so. OK, truly. It says for the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perizim. He shall be as be wroth as the valley of Gibeon that he may do his work his strange work and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Right. And what's going to be crazy is a lot of these people are going to realize that, like, you know, these guys was, te was teaching the whole truth the whole time. How are they the men of the Lord? What the hell? You know, this is where the scriptures talk about. Then it shall it be known who are my chosen. I mean, uh, who are my chosen? 
Okay? Now, therefore, be ye not mockers, lest your bands be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God of hosts a consumption even determined upon the whole earth. Okay? Give, give ye ear and hear my voice. Hearken and hear my speech. Does the plowman plow all day? And that's what I was talking about earlier. Okay? Y'all think that we just out here plowing all day. It says, to, to does the plowman plow all day to sow? Does he open and break the clods of his ground? Okay? Are we just out here, you know, teaching for no reason? Are these prophecies not going to come to pass? Is the elect not being gathered? Okay. Is there not going to be a harvest? The Lord is going to gather his elect. Okay. Who he planted. Okay. And that's that's what, you know, and, 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 and when he gathered the elect, those people that are blessed are going to be the ones who, who, who are the first fruits of the kingdom, man. Okay. They'll be able to sit back and enjoy their work. Okay. And rest from the labor that they, that they have put in, man. Okay. When the Lord returns. But before that, man, it's going to be a lot of shifting, man. You know, judgment must first begin at the house of Israel. Okay. And a lot of you people, man, ain't going to know what the hell hits you, man. You going to know is is your help by Simeon Shah, you know, but you ain't going to know when it when it hits you. OK, when it comes because you ain't prepared for it. OK. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say solid warmth till next time.